Welcome to a how to download mods video. In this video I'm going to be using a Mac on how to download mods. I, it will work the same way for a Windows, but I'm going to be giving you more tips on a Mac and if there's any problems I'll show you how to solve them and what I've experienced and how you can solve the problems that I'm going through, which is probably what everyone else is going through, especially if they're using a Mac. Now, first of all, if you want to download a mod, you need to get to the form page or whatever wherever it's on. Usually it's on something called Minecraft Forms. But once you're here, like you can search up some mods like Portal Mod or whatever, and you'll get some sort of page. Now, once you're here, it'll give you a whole bunch of information and sometimes you've got no idea what that means. So I'm doing the Camera Studio mod for 1.4.5. And the most important thing to do to learn when you get a mod is what version it is, what Minecraft version, not the version of the actual mod, the Minecraft version. So it's 1.4.5 and if it needs anything called like mod loader or maybe forge, then um, it'll say. So this is mod loader compatible which means that I can download it, I can upload it to my Minecraft by just dragging all these files into the Minecraft jar or I can use mod loader which Basically, mod loader is just it's um, a mod by itself, which allows you to simply download other mods by putting them into a new folder that it creates. So you won't have to go through the hassle, which is about 20 minutes of you trying to download a mod. But anyway, let's let's go ahead and start this. So I'm actually going to use mod mod loader. I don't have to, but just to show you what mod loader is like, I'm going to use it, and it'll work the same way with Forge or whatever. So I'm going to go to mod loader. I searched up and I, there was a download page. Now I'm going to AdFly. What AdFly actually is, is that if you get a whole bunch of visitors that come to the certain the owner's AdFly thing, they get money. So it's just a way for them to get money and for them to make it worth it of them spending like 10 days and days trying to make what you're searching. So now I've gotten mod loader. I am going to go on a new page and open up my finder. Now that I'm on my finder, I'm going to go to my Minecraft my Minecraft folder. I am going to I have a link right now that's posted up on how to get to here. But once you're here, I suggest what you do is you once you're at this place, you drag in this picture that So, yeah, you drag this picture, double click on it and then hold. So, you click and then hold. And then you drag that into your favorites place. So then you can easily access it by the click of a button instead of going onto your go and whatever. So once you're here, go into your bin. Now you'll see this Minecraft.jar. This is where you're going to do everything. And all you need to do is open up your Minecraft.jar. Yeah, now once you're here, get the thing that you downloaded. It's going to become a zip. So you just click on it and it becomes a folder. Open up that folder and you'll get all of these thingamajigs. Select all of them, you can use command A if you want to. Drag them in. Once you've dragged them in, click apply to all and replace them all. Well, basically what Minecraft.jar actually is, is the insides of Minecraft and how everything works. All of these folders are one part of Minecraft, like for example, this could be how to move. And this folder could be, for example, I don't know what it actually is, but this could be the types of blocks that you can place. And this could be the types of blocks that are going to fall, like sand and gravel. And all of these do something in Minecraft. And what it, when you download things from the mod, it basically just takes the old, um, old Java file, which is the class file, and changes, puts in a few more extra things. Like, example, you're going to have more creatures onto your Minecraft and you want to have sharks or whatever you just take whatever one is whatever class is the mods I mean the mobs and it just takes it what it is and adds a new one in so that's why you're just gonna have to replace so once you're here before you do anything else you need to go ahead and find your um, meta inv I suggest you use the second icon that I just pressed because it's easier to find folders and you get to see more here meta inv Drag this and throw it in trash. You never need that thing ever again. Now, once you have this, throw away that Minecraft.zip. You're not, you're not going to need this. Right click on that Minecraft folder that you just edited. 
compress it. Yeah, it'll become a. Then just change it into a jar file. Throw this one away. Now close it. And it should work once you open up your Minecraft. Just a test if Mod Loader is working. Try to log in. And if you successfully log in, then it has been downloaded. If you get to this page, this means you're going to have to do a little bit extra work. So open up your finder again. Go into Minecraft. Go into the bin. Reopen this. Now, once you're in here, back into your Minecraft folder. Select all of it with Command A. Right click and click Compress. This is going to make a new folder called archive.zip. And you will just need to find it. It will be in the AR section. It's going to be inside of this folder. It's not going to go anywhere else. It's not going to run from you. And you just need to find it. It may be quite frustrating trying to find it because it's such a small folder in like thousands of different folders. Here, I found it. Now, open up a separate Minecraft page. Go into Minecraft, go into bin. Here, drag in the archive.zip into this place. Close that folder that you are on. Rename this into minecraft.jar. Use dot jar and throw away this. You don't need that anymore. And there we go. It should it better work. All right, so let's log in. And I am in. So this means that Modler has successfully been installed. Now, once you've got into here, put it in Minecraft. Same thing will happen if you download Forge or whatever. You've got it downloaded. Now, go back on to your finder. Go on to Minecraft. And you shall see there is a new thing called Mods. This folder is where you put all your mods that are compatible with Mod Loader into there. And you would only use the zip. zip. So I'm going to getting my camera mod now. I'm going to download it. I just need to find where it is. So download links. Sometimes it's really hard to find. And I'm going to click on this. So this is going to be the link to downloading it. And it's going to give me a zip folder. Folder. You don't open that up. Don't open up the zip. And just simply put in that zip into that mod folder that you have been given into your Minecraft folder. So now that you're in Minecraft, open up this mod. So it's going to have nothing in it. Go onto your downloads and just drag and drop your mod. Alright, I'm in. Now I just have to test if it's working. I'm going to go in this house that I've been building for a while. And it has worked. Right down there, on the left hand corner of my screen, it says Camera Studio Mod. There we go. I got my mod on. That's working all good. And yeah, so that's how to download a mod. Now, I need to show you an important thing. Once you've downloaded a mod and you want to download another mod and you don't think they're compatible with each other because some mods aren't compatible with each other and they might mess each other up, go on to Options and click this Force Update, click Done, and then Log In. What this will do is it will give you a fresh Minecraft.jar. So if you've also messed something up with your Minecraft.jar and your Minecraft is going wild, then just simply re-download it with this options key. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. And I hope this was helpful. If you have any other things that you want me to help you with, for example, um, you want to know how to do Forge if this has any problem. Or if there's any mod that's not working at all and you're using the same technique that I'm using and you're re-downloading the mod again and again and it's not working, then just tell me. I probably won't have any idea how to help you because I only learned this from multiple times trying. But yeah, I've tried to download some mods and they just really don't work. Alright, well, I hope this was helpful. Please leave a like so we can spread the word. And comment and say if this was really helpful because 
it's always nice to have a kind comment saying this was great. And I'll see you in some of my other videos. Bye.